For most of human history, blood was a profound mystery. People knew it was essential. Lose too much and you were done for. That led to gruesome, ill-advised experiments. His next patient, a Swedish nobleman, survived. His third patient, a Parisian man, did not. The procedure was banned. He noticed something peculiar. He realized surface markers on red blood cells caused the reactions. He labeled these markers A, B, O, and AB. Around 1940, Landsteiner and Alexander Wiener found another factor, using rhesus monkeys. Your blood type is like a history book, written in DNA and carried through generations. Tiny genetic changes shaped where different blood groups became common. Across continents, blood group frequencies shift, telling migration stories. Migration routes spread these genes over millennia. Type O is especially common across much of South America. Early settlers crossed the Bering Land Bridge and later spread into the Amazon and Andes. Today indigenous populations often show very high O frequencies, reflections of founder populations. B is more frequent in South Asia while A dominates parts of Europe and Japan. Agriculture, isolation and disease pressures nudged blood type patterns over centuries. Central Asia and the Indian subcontinent show unique mixes shaped by trade and conquest. Nomadic migrations like the Mongols move genes across vast landscapes. Anthropologists read these patterns to infer ancestry. Your blood type carries those stories. Modern genetics and big data let scientists map these stories in unprecedented detail. Most people know ABO and RH, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. Blood banks routinely sort bags by A, B, A, B, and O, but there's more complexity behind the labels. Scientists now recognize over 40 blood group systems, roughly 45 known ways red cells can differ. Those differences come down to tiny antigens on the red cell surface, molecular fingerprints that matter clinically. Many animals have their own blood group systems too, evidence scientists use to study evolution and migration. Kel, Duffy, Lewis, Kid. In hospitals, extended typing beyond ABO and RH can be life-saving when matching blood for transfusions. Patients with sickle cell disease or thalassemia often require specially matched units from extended typing registries. Antibodies target specific antigens. A Kell antibody, for example, can cause severe transfusion reactions. Some types are extraordinarily rare. RH null, sometimes called golden blood, is nearly unique around the world. Fewer than 50 people are known worldwide, and they can only receive Rho null blood. Blood types also help trace ancestry. Patterns in families and populations reveal migration and genetic history. Researchers study global blood group distributions to understand population health and disease patterns. ABO antigens aren't only on red cells, they coat gut and airway cells and can influence infections and cancer risk. Your blood type is rooted in genetics and can affect screening choices and medical decisions. Some pathogens, norovirus and H. pylori, interact differently with certain blood types, changing infection risk. The Duffy and other blood group systems can alter malaria susceptibility, some types offer partial protection. Studies show people with type A have a slightly higher risk of gastric cancer. Blood type can subtly influence heart disease and blood clot risks. Researchers are still untangling why. Certain blood group-linked proteins affect clotting factors and lipid interactions, influencing cardiovascular pathways. Remember, lifestyle, diet, exercise, smoking, usually has a larger impact on risk than blood type alone. Blood type remains critical for organ transplantation. Proper matching reduces rejection and speeds donor selection. Sometimes a mother and baby can have warring blood types. The mother's immune system can mistake fetal blood for an invader. RH incompatibility happens when an RH negative mother carries an RH positive fetus. Tiny leaks let fetal cells reach her bloodstream, triggering antibody production. After exposure, the mother becomes sensitized, ready to attack future rh positive babies. On a second pregnancy, those antibodies act faster and stronger. Antibodies cross the placenta and destroy fetal red blood cells. This can cause anemia, severe jaundice, brain injury, even heart failure. Before modern prevention, RH disease caused tragedy for many families. Today, we prevent it with an RH immunoglobulin injection, ROGAM, given during pregnancy. ROGAM neutralizes fetal cells, and RH disease is now rare. The future of blood might not come from a human donor, 
Shortages happen, shelves run low and rare types can be impossible to find when needed. Scientists are now growing red blood cells in the laboratory. They start with stem cells and coax them to become oxygen-carrying red cells. In 2022, a UK trial produced tiny transfusable amounts literally spoonfuls of lab-grown red blood. Scaling up remains the challenge. Industrial bioreactors are the next step toward bulk production. At the same time, researchers are pursuing universal blood by removing or hiding surface markers. Approaches include enzymes that strip A and B antigens, and polymers that mask them. Imagine emergency teams reaching for universal supplies, no time lost matching donors in crisis. AI is optimizing inventories and matching donors with recipients in seconds. Predictive models can forecast where supplies will be needed, down to neighborhoods and routes. Global registries and fast searches make finding rare donors faster than ever before. Together, these advances could make transfusions safer, faster and more equitable for everyone. From Landsteiner's discovery to lab-grown blood, the story of blood science keeps evolving. From Landsteiner's 1901 breakthrough to today's operating rooms, blood science transformed medicine forever. Blood types map human history, O plus is common in South America, B plus in South Asia, AB stays rare. Beyond ABO and RH, dozens of systems like Kell, Duffy, Lewis and Kidd affect transfusions and disease resistance. RH incompatibility once threatened newborns, today Rogam injections protect mothers and their babies. Tiny differences in blood groups help trace migrations and ancestry across generations. The future may bring lab-grown red cells and AI-powered matching, safer, faster, less donor-dependent, but how many mysteries remain? What causes ultra-rare types like rate null? Can we make truly universal blood? Pause. Science keeps turning old questions into new discoveries. Curiosity flows through every vein of research. Every donation and every rare unit, like golden rate null, matters. Our blood literally ties us together. Curious to learn more? Subscribe and check the links below for sources and deeper dives into blood science.